What's up, stackers? This is Silver Slayer, and welcome to your daily silver stacking video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And ladies and gentlemen, I have a huge announcement to make. You ready? We just hit 55,000 subscribers. You know what that means? My 55,000 subscriber silver giveaway entry video will be posted tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be there or be square. That means you got to be subscribed and you better click the bell and click all. Because if you don't, you might miss the notification for the entry video. You don't want to do that. I've seen that happen before where my subscribers have said, hey, I, mi I, I didn't see the giveaway entry video. I didn't. I wasn't able to enter. Please don't let that be you. Make sure you click the bell and click all so you get notified every time I post. Plus, I post daily videos. Anyways, that's not the only opportunity to win some silver, though. Even if, let's say, you lose that giveaway. Every month for the rest of your life that you're a subscriber here, you automatically have an opportunity to win silver. Because once a month, I give an ounce of silver away to one of my lucky random subscribers. That's how we do it over here, folks. A lot of silver given away to a lot of different stackers. And like always, may the luckiest stacker win. So, silver price prediction. Silver prices rally despite rising yields in a stronger dollar. This is an important article. Very important article. And there's actually another article I kind of want to go over as well. And it, it's basically just talking about silver prices, you know, recovering, right? There's a lot happening. There's a lot that happens on a day-to-day -day basis. I always talk about that when the prices are down. Don't, don't beat yourself up because I'm sure within a day or two, some new news is going to break and it's going to push prices up. You know, it's just, it's, an, it's a never-ending roller coaster with a lot of volatility and a, a lot of stomach drops. So here's the key insights. Silver prices rise amid signs of slower growth. Treasury yields rise with rate hikes looming. And here's an important one. Oil prices marched higher on the EU agreement and the end of China's lockdowns, which is kind of tying into this article that's talking about how commodities turn higher as China loosens its virus restrictions. So you can see it's going to be a good video, a great video at that. I'd love for you all to participate share what you think about these. The link to these two articles will be in the description. Silver prices climbed higher despite that the dollar and yields increased. Gold prices fall amid higher yields and that increase uh, that increases the opportunity cost of holding gold and underpinning the dollar. Despite rising inflation, gold will likely not be a hedge unless the Fed does not take the appropriate measures to fight spiraling inflation. The dollar became firmer amid rising yields. Benchmark yields rise as investors maintain their focus on Fed rate hikes and mounting price pressures. The 10-year yield move declined by 8.2 basis points to 2.928%. Oil prices continue to strengthen amid the European ban on Russia oil and the ending of restrictions by the Shanghai lockdown. The job openings and labor turnover survey report for April came in at 5.46 million, which declined sharply by 455k from the previous month. The gap between job openings and available workers was reduced. Although the gap was reduced, the reading indicates that there is a tight labor market where labor supply matches the demand for labor. The ISM Manufacturing Index also came out today, indicating that firms plan to ease the pace at which they hire employees. The employment reading registered 49.6, which is the first reading under 50 since November 2020. Hiring will slow down relative to labor supply. So that's pretty interesting. I mean, the jobs report and all that stuff, everything does tie into to the prices. I mean, it's all it's all almost like um, it's like a it's like a puzzle. It's not even like a puzzle. It's like, you know, like a gear. Have you ever seen like those big gear machines where like you twist this gear and then it twists this piece and it goes and it, the whole entire machine kind of turns at once just from one little tiny gear. It's almost like that. Everything is so finely intertwined and interwoven. Um, but that could also be a very dangerous thing as like a domino effect happening. And at the end of the day, though, the beautiful thing about precious metals is since it has intrinsical value, regardless if the if the gears break down or are building up, silver 
benefits from it. It's a win-win. It's the best of both worlds. Whether the economy is in good or bad shape, silver benefits. Nothing else, not even gold, you can say that about. So I, I know that was a weird analogy. That, that was a weird way to put it, but it made sense in my brain. I know my brain probably works a little different than most years, but uh, who cares? Anyways, <laughs> the technical analysis. Silver prices look to test the 10-day moving average near 21.9, despite maintaining a bearish bias. As rising inflation has become more of a concern for economists, the Fed plan take any action needed to rein in inflation. The situation will cause silver prices to face greater downward pressure going forwards. The 50-day moving average remains crossed under the 200-day moving average, which is a headwind for silver's price, and that indicates the downward momentum for silver will likely head to the $20.40 level. Now, let's actually look what um, silver's price is doing right now. So right now it's at $22.53. It's looking like the one day is looking pretty strong. One week. I mean, look at this. Look at this freaking roller coaster, man. That's why they say silver stackers definitely, um, you know, they are, they have nerves of steel. But regardless, uh, support is seen near May 13th lows at $20.40. Resistance seen near former support near the 10 day moving average at $21.90. So the medium term momentum turns positive as the histogram prints uh, positively with the MACD moving average convergence diversions of the trajectory of this histogram is negative territory which reflects a downward trend in price movement so that's basically what's going on right now with silver prices that's what's kind of pushing the price all over left right up down sideways middle frontwards backwards um, <clears throat> and, and you're going to see a lot of this i mean there's a lot of um a lot of things happening from you know different parts of the world with the restrictions the fed you have these lockdowns loosening, you know, restraints, and it's, it's kind of going to just push silver prices everywhere right now. And that's why if you're emotionally invested into these markets, if you're someone who, if you see the price of your portfolio or you see the percentage down, you know, 10, 15%, if you get that stomach drop and you start, you know, getting, you know, palms a little sweaty, you're going to be in for a miserable ride over the next several years. Um, you know, and, and especially since precious metals is, it's like the tortoise and the hare. You know, crypto is very volatile. It's a, it's a very, very um, dangerous roller coaster. It's, it's the big kids roller coaster. Precious metals is like the little kiddie rides at, at Disney World, the ones that have like a little three foot hill. That's precious metals compared to like cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies, you know, the, the top deal dragster that's got the freaking thousand foot down drop. You know, you barely breathe when you're headed down to the bottom. But regardless, regardless, though, nowadays, all markets are pretty crazy. And silver is more volatile than gold. So I would say, like, the, the silver is like the, is like the, the top. It's like, the, you know, the roller coaster at Disney where it has, like, a little bump. There's no, you know, there's no loops in it. But, you know, gold is definitely more of that toddler ride. But regardless, at the end of the day... And the tortoise and the hare metaphor or analogy, who always wins the race? Cryptocurrency is a great way to get rich quick, but it's also a great way to get broke quick just as fast. And most people, the second, uh, the, the second one is, the, is what happens. So virus is now deemed under control in Beijing, and Shanghai's outbreak appears to be headed that way as officials outline their plan to revive the city after a two-month lockdown. So um, this is going to be really interesting. And, and it even talks about, you know, like for copper, the onshore view is that demand prospects are weak. Although news of extra spending on the power grid, the biggest user of the metal in China should prove supportive. So here's a fuel surplus. Um, it's looking like the uh, make it might take steps to clear high fuel inventories that have built up during the prolonged antivirus lockdowns by uh, adding or issuing additional export quotas. So, what do you think about all this? I think this is um I think this is pretty interesting. This looks pretty interesting as well. So, you guys know, oh, this is really interesting. This came out today. You know, Peru is one of the biggest 
um, suppliers of silver and 3,000 workers laid off at Peru's uh, mine. This could be huge news. People are protesting one of the biggest silver mines in the world. Whoa, this could be huge news. This could be huge news. Let me look into this more. This is see what I see. This is how I randomly find. Yeah, this is how I randomly find. Yeah, all this came out today, June second. This one came out June second. Whoa, wow! You guys might be seeing another video coming out today about something that I think you just found out what it's about. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, uh, in all seriousness, though. Um, what do you think about all this? What What is your forecast for silver? What do you think silver is going to be doing in the, in the immediate term, the midterm, and the, and the long term? I'm obviously bullish long term. I don't plan on selling anytime soon, so I'm not really worried if the prices stay low. That's actually uh, something that I would rather happen so I can keep buying silver for cheaper. Thanks for tuning in. This is Silver Slayer. Make sure you're subscribed and enter my giveaways coming up. May the luckiest stackers win. See you guys soon. Peace.